2 divided by 5 is a fraction. In 2 divided by 5, 2 is the number of equal parts which have been taken out and 5 is the number of equal parts into which the whole has been divided. Or simply we can say 2 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator. Types of fractions Like fractions The fractions having the same denominators. For example, 1 by 7, 3 by 7, 5 by 7 and 6 by 7 are like fractions. Unlike fractions the fractions having different denominators, such as 3 by 5, 2 by 7, 11 by 15, etc. Proper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is always less than the denominator. For example, 1 by 5, 3 by 8, 5 by 9, etc. Improper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. For example, 7 by 4, 3 by 2, 12 by 9, etc. Mixed fractions. Fractions such as 3 into 1 by 2, 5 into 1 by 3, etc., which comprise of two parts, a whole number followed by a fraction. Equivalent fraction. Fraction can be equivalent only if there are equal after reducing each fraction into lowest terms. For example, 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, and 4 by 8 is equivalent fractions. Here are some examples. 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 6. Thus, 1 by 2 and 3 by 6 are equivalent fractions. Comparison of fractions. Let us consider some examples. Compare 3, 3 by 20 and 7 by 10. Solution. As shown in the animation, 3, 3 by 20 equals to 3 times 20 plus 3 over 20 equals to 63 upon 20. 7 over 10 equals to 7 times 2 upon 10 times 2, which is 14 over 20. 63 upon 20 is greater than 14 upon 20. Or, 3, 3 by 20 is greater than 7 by 10. Example, Sheetal ate 3 by 4 piece of a cake while Shivani ate 6 by 7 piece of cake. Who ate a bigger piece of cake? Solution. Here, both the fractions are unlike. 3 by 4 is equal to 3 into 7 by 4 into 7 is equal to 21 by 28. 6 by 7 is equal to 6 into 4 by 7 into 4 is equal to 24 by 28. Clearly, 21 is less than 24. So 21 by 28 is less than 24 by 28. And 3 by 4 is also less than 6 by 7. Hence, Shivani ate a bigger piece of cake. Example, add 2 by 3 plus 4 by 5 plus 5 by 6. Solution, by adding the given fraction we get 23 upon 10. Example, subtract 1, 4 by 5 minus 1, 1 by 6. Solution, as seen in the animation, by subtracting 1, 4 by 5, minus 1, 1 by 6, we get 19 by 30. Multiplication of fractions by a whole number. We know that multiplication is repeated addition. Let us consider an example. Suppose we need to find the perimeter of a square, field, each of whose side is 1 by 4 kilometer. We know that all the four sides of a square are equal. So the total distance will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. We can also write this as 4 into 1 by 4. To multiply a whole number with a fraction, we multiply the whole number with the numerator of the fraction, keeping the denominator the same. For example, 2 into 3 by 5 is equal to 6 by 5. 8 into 7 by 4 is equal to 14. 4 by 9 into 5 is equal to 20 by 9. To multiply a mixed fraction to a whole number, first convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction and then multiply. For example, 3 to 1 by 5 into 2 is equal to 16 by 5 into 2 is equal to 32 by 5. Multiplication of fractions with whole numbers using figures. Look at these figures. Each shaded part is 1 by 9 part of a rectangle. 
the three shaded parts will together represent 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9, which is equal to 3 into 1 by 9, is equal to 3 by 9. Combining the two shaded parts, it represents 3 by 12 part of a wheel. Similarly, can you tell what these set of figures represent? The figure represents the equation 3 by 12 plus 3 by 12 is equal to 6 by 12 or 2 into 3 by 12 is equal to 6 by 12. We can also use the operator of instead of the multiplication sign x. Suppose Aisha has 16 sweets. Aman has 1 by 4th of the number of sweets Aisha has. How many sweets Aman has? Aman has 1 by 4 of 16. That is 1 by 4 into 16. That is 4 sweets. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. To multiply a fraction with another fraction, we multiply the numerator of one fraction with the numerator of the other fraction and the denominator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction. That is, if A by B and C by D are any two fractions, then A by B into C by D is equal to A into C divided by B into D. For example, 8 by 3 into 4 by 7 is equal to 8 into 4 is divided by 3 into 7 is equal to 32 by 21. Similarly, 5 by 4 into 6 by 11 is equal to 15 by 22. 2 by 13 into 3 2 by 8 is equal to 1 by 4. Division of fractions. It's result time. Nimesha banged the first position in her class. So she decided to throw a party. She wants to order pizza and cold rings for her friends. She thinks if I order two pizzas and give one sixth of a whole to each of my friends, how many friends can get a slice of a pizza? The number is 6 by 1 is obtained by interchanging the numerator and the denominator of 1 by 6 or by taking its reciprocal. Reciprocal of a number is obtained by just turning it upside down as shown in animation. Example, how many pieces are there in two full pizzas? Answer is 12. Here, we divide each hole into six equal parts. So two holes will have 12 equal parts. That is, 2 divided by 1 by 6 is equal to 12. 12 of our friends can get a slice of a pizza. Observe that 2 into 6 by 1 is equal to 2 into 6 is equal to 12. Thus, 2 divided by 1 by 6 is equal to 2 into 6 by 1 is equal to 12 the non-zero numbers, whose product with each other is 1, and called the reciprocals of each other. 3 by 4 and 4 by 3 are reciprocals of each other. Thus, to divide a whole number by any fraction, multiply that whole number by the reciprocal of that fraction. For example, 7 divided by 2 by 5 is equal to 7 into 5 by 2 is equal to 35 by 2. 6 divided by 5 into 1 by 3 is equal to 6 divided by 16 by 3 is equal to 6 into 3 by 16 is equal to 9 by 8. Division of a fraction by a whole number. Now to divide a fraction by a whole number, we multiply the fraction with the reciprocal of the whole number. See example, 2 by 5 divided by 4 is equal to 2 by 5 into 1 by 4 is equal to 2 into 1 is divided by 5 into 4 is equal to 2 by 20 is equal to 1 by 10. Likewise, 4 into 1 by 5 divided by 7 is equal to 3 by 5. Division of a fraction by another fraction. To divide a fraction by another fraction, we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. For example, 2 by 9 divided by 5 by 3 is equal to 2 by 9 into 3 by 5 is equal to 2 by 15. Similarly, 2 by 3 divided by 7 by 4 is equal to 8 by 21. 2 3 by 5 divided by 13 by 15 is equal to 3. Decimal Numbers a decimal is a fractional number whose denominator is a power of 10. Every decimal number has a decimal point represented by a dot. For example, 6 divided by 10 can be expressed as 0 0.6. 123 divided by 10 as 12.3. 1151 divided by 100 as 11.51. Starting from decimal point towards left terms are ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores, and towards right, 
terms are tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. For example, 2563.123 First, we denote the digits before the decimal and then the digits after the decimals. So here, 3 represents ones, 6 represents tens, 5 represents hundreds, 2 represents thousands, dot represents decimal point, 1 represents tens, 2 represents hundreds, 3 represents thousands. Conversion Look at this conversion of decimal into fraction. Step 1 First we write decimal number divided by 1. Step 2 Then multiply both top and bottom by 10 for every digit after the decimal point. For example, 0 0.65 is multiply and divide by 100 because there are two digits after the decimal point. Step 3 Simplify or reduce the fraction. For example, numerator and denominator of 65 by 100 are divisible by 5. On dividing numerator and denominator, we get 13 by 20 as fraction. 65 by 100 is equal to 13 by 20. Now, conversion of fraction into decimals. Step 1. First, divide the numerator and denominator and then find a number that can be multiplied by denominator to make it 10. 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Then multiply the numerator and denominator with that number. For example, in fraction 7 by 20, when we multiply 20 by 5, then we get 100 at denominator. So, 7 into 5 divided by 20 into 5 is 35 divided by 100. Step 2. Write numerator with appropriate decimal. Example, in fraction 35 by 100, there are two zeros in denominator. Count two digits from the right of numerator. First digit is 5 and second digit is 3 from the right. So decimal point will be placed after second digit from right. That is, decimal will be placed after 3. Example, 0.35 here, 5 represents digit 1, 3 represents digit 2 and point represents the decimal point. Hence, 7 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.35. Addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Look at the examples. Here, we have two decimal numbers, 2.59 and 8.07. First, we write the first number, that is 2.59, and then put the decimal of the second number exactly below the first number's decimal, and then write the digits. And then add both the decimal numbers, that is 2.59 plus 8.07. We get 10.66. Let us consider another example. Let us add 155.26 and 79.614. As it is shown in the animation, we get 234.874. Now, subtractions of two decimal numbers. We have two decimal numbers, 48.15 and 37.185. After subtracting, we get 10.965. Multiplication of decimal number. Look at the figure. The length of the rectangle is 0 0.2 km and breadth of the rectangle is 0 0.1 km. So for finding the area of the rectangle, we have to multiply both the numbers. That is, area of rectangle is equal to 0 0.2 km into 0 0.1 km, which is equal to 2 by 10 into 1 by 10. Now we multiply these numbers and we get 2 divided by 100. That is 0 0.02 km square. Multiplication of decimal numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. Look at this example. 2.36 into 10. 236 by 100 into 10. Cut 10 zero by 0. 236 by 10 is equal to 23.6. If we solve 0 0.7 into 1000, we get 700. When a decimal number is multiplied by 10, 100 or 1000, the digits in the product are the same as in the decimal number, but the decimal point in the product is shifted to the right by as many of places as there are zeros after 1. Example, 1.25 into 10 is equal to 
1.25 into 100 is equal to 125. 1.25 into 1000 is equal to 1250. Division of a decimal number by a whole number. Look at the figure. Perimeter of the triangle is equal to 7.5 cm. And we know that perimeter of the triangle is sum of its three sides. So, length of each side is equal to 7.5 divided by 3. which is equal to 75 divided by 10 divided by 3 now we take reciprocal of 3 it becomes 1 divided by 3 and then we get 75 divided by 10 into 1 divided by 3 and we get 75 divided by 30 that is 2.5 cm division of a decimal number by another decimal number john was fond of video games he used to save his pocket money to go to the game parlor for playing video games He had a total of rupees seventy three point five. Each game charged him rupees ten point five. Now he was to calculate how many games he can play with the money he has. For that, he has to divide seventy three point five with ten point five is equal to seven three five divided by hundred and five is equal to seven. Therefore, John can play seven games in the parlor with the amount of money he has. Division by ten hundred and thousand. To divide a decimal number by ten hundred or thousand, the digits of the number and the quotient are same, but the decimal point and the quotient shifts to the left by as many places as there are zeros after one. For example, four hundred thirty-two point six divided by ten is equal to forty-three point two six. Four hundred thirty-two point six divided by hundred is equal to four point three point two six. 432.6 divided by 1000 is equal to 